Hey, 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 Pisces. How's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. And this is your general love reading. We're going to check you guys out and see what's going on with you guys in love. If this resonates, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload these readings for you. I'm available for personal love readings should you need one. And I do have a Christmas special going on. Okay, my tarot and oracle decks are on sale. Limited time only for the holidays. So check it out if you're interested. And you're extended. It can be found on Vimeo. Okay, so let's jump right in. What is the challenge that Pisces is facing with regard to love? Oh, the lovers, okay? So some of you guys are in a very strong connection or maybe it's a falling out of a connection, okay? Um, the lovers, you're connected to someone, okay? Whether you're together physically or not. I'm thinking um, maybe you guys had a breakup or a separation, but energetically, there's a really strong connection here, okay? Now, the lovers is about a decision. I feel someone here in this connection may, may have made a decision to turn it back on this, on this relationship or... Just, you know, I'm getting just a lot of resistance here, okay? Now we have the four cups. Yeah, someone got pushed away. And then we have the six of cups right next to it and the two of pentacles. So, yeah, I think Pisces, what I'm seeing is that someone here wasn't interested maybe in what you had to offer at the time. I feel like someone here did push the other person away, may have said, mm, I'm not interested, I don't want it. Um, But the six of cups, it's like they're still thinking about it. They're still thinking about all the good times, the memories, the experiences. And I think that... Someone here may have rejected this relationship because someone was very unsure. Two pentacles could be going back and forth, two options, two people, two paths. It also could be indicating of someone just having a lot on their plate, juggling, right? There's just a lot of responsibilities, ups and downs, instability in your life. So that could have been a reason as to why someone said, mm, I don't know if I can do that. I'm not sure if I can commit right now. I'm not sure if I can be that person you need me to be, okay? So in the recent past, Pisces, let's see. Queen of Pentacles in a verse, the Six of Pentacles with the Magician. In the recent past, Pisces, I feel like someone here just wasn't getting what they wanted. Could have been something tangible, okay? Could have been like a commitment here with the Queen of Pentacles. And I feel like there was some issues regarding equal give and take. And I think that someone here really wanted to see what they can do to make things more fair, more just, more balanced. Um, in fact, they did whatever they could do to try to bring some equality back to the situation, Repro reciprocity, right? So the magician card is here because someone really believed in this connection. Could have been you, could be a Gemini in your life, got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. Um, on your mind, Pisces, we have the page of pentacles, the ten of wands and the ace of wands in verse. A lot of you guys, you're feeling burdened by this connection. It's like you really want this new beginning. You really would love for things to move forward to get this, have this new start, this new beginning, get it off the ground. But I feel like that's a little bit difficult. I feel that like Pisces, you've extended yourself. The Page of Pentacles, a lot of you guys, it's like you put yourself out there, right? Uh, maybe you're putting yourself out there now. Some of you guys, you reached out to this person recently and you feel like there's just a lot of resistance. Ten of Wands, it's like, you know, it's like no matter what you do, you may feel like it's not good enough and something just can't move forward with that Ace of Wands, okay? Now, in the foundation, we have the Chariot, the Hangman in reverse, the Emperor in reverse, and we have the Death in reverse. So I get the sense that Pisces, the reason why things haven't gotten off the ground is because, well, this person is thinking. The Hangman here, the Emperor, both coming out in reverse is indicating that someone here wants to be in control. And they're not allowing things to move forward because they're trying to assess things. They, they want to figure out things for themselves. And they don't want to be pressured. That emperor in the verse does not like to be told what to do. And I'm getting the energy that this is someone who wants to lead. They want to do things their way. They may have a tendency to be a little bit controlling Pisces. But there's a very stubborn energy here. I'm going to move when I want to move. And Pisces, you can't make this person do what, they, what you want them to do. So... And all in all, I do feel this person really generally wants change and movement, progress. They do want to achieve something with you. They do want to be successful. There's some goal in mind that you and this person has, Pisces. And I do feel they want to reach that with you. However, the hangman is saying that things may not happen right then and there. They may need more time to get their self together. The emperor in the verse could be someone who's not in control of their life. There could be a lot of setbacks or things that they have to work on first. However, I do see with the death card coming out in the verse, there's definitely a new beginning on the horizon. 
but it's going to require someone to make a decision with the lovers, right? But the death in reverse is indicating a change, okay? Transformation that's going to happen um, and even a rebirth, a new opportunity coming in. Now, as far as the outcome, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse with the Queen of Cups. Pisces, your energy is the Queen of Cups in reverse. A lot of you guys, you're still feeling like emotionally this person isn't there for you. You're feeling unsupported. Maybe you guys are feeling a little bit needy. Um, this person is not giving you the commitment that you want, but I do see a partnership coming together. So it's almost like maybe you guys are going to come together, um, hang out. You know, there's a lot of pentacles here. I, I'm getting the sense that there, there could be an energy of you guys spending more time with each other. Um, because I don't see a single energy here. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So I think, Pisces, you're going to be coming together with this person. But it may not be the commitment that you want. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you guys, you have your eye on, I want a relationship. I want a commitment. I want it to be, you know, that's it. And you may have to be flexible. Because I don't think this person's ready to make that decision or make that real commitment. So let's get some more clarity for you guys. If this is your reading, Pisces, I encourage you to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, Pisces, why is the lover's card here in the reverse? Knight of Wands in reverse with the Hermit. Someone here is definitely, they tend to be in and out. The Knight of Wands in reverse is an energy of fickle, immature, inconsistent, um, likes to do things their way, kind of like the Emperor in reverse, right? Can't tell them what to do. They're going to do whatever they want, whenever they want. And I feel like this person, along with that energy, they want to be left alone sometimes, Pisces. They want... It's like this person wants freedom. They want to be withdrawn. They want to be, they don't want to be bothered all the time. So I think that this person may have pushed you away because honestly, the four cups is like, you may feel, you may have felt abandoned or you may feel like you weren't good enough, but that's not true. It's just that this person needs more time, space to process things. Why is the four cups here for Pisces? Knight of Cups in reverse with the Queen of Swords. I do feel this person is being very honest with you, Pisces. If they said they weren't ready for commitment, it's true. If they said they can't be that person you need them to be, it's true. What I do see also is that this person has some issues regarding emotionally uh, being available to you. You may be the more emotionally giving and nurturing person out of the two. And that's okay, but this person definitely knows that I don't know if I can support your emotional needs right now, Pisces. Um, and that could be a reason why they're pushing your way as well. But I do see a really strong connection with the Six of Cups. The Ten of Swords is here and the Ace of Wands in verse. But it's almost like this person is afraid of it. They feel like it's going to end miserably. It's almost like they feel like i rather preserve the friendship that me and Pisces has. Okay, the Six of Cups, like I'd rather leave off on a good note. I don't want to get to a point where... We have this uh, opportunity to move forward and it takes off Ace of Wands, right? And then it doesn't go anywhere and it falls flat on the floor, Ten of Swords. Your person doesn't want that. So they want to make sure they're 100% ready. And so there's a lot of indecision with the Two of Pentacles going back and forth, Page of Swords and Verse. And there's a lot that they're not telling you, Pisces. There's a lot that's going on behind the scenes about this person. Um trying like contemplating going back and forth juggling the idea of moving forward with you um but they don't tell you everything they just don't and it's not that they're lying page of swords and verse is just that they're just not telling you everything <laughs> okay um in the past why is the six of pentacles here in the past we do have the queen of cups in verse again and we have the seven of wands in verse in the past it was almost like you weren't really fighting enough for yourself pisces it was like you were fine with this person giving you less than Okay, it was fine, like this person just not emotionally being available to you. The Queen of Cups, a lot of you guys, you you felt you weren't being cared for. You weren't being supported emotionally. And it was like, it was okay. So a lot of you guys in the past, you didn't fight for what you want. You didn't set the expectations. You didn't set the bar high. And now you're getting to a point where you may want stability, but this person is like, I don't need to give you that. Why is the Magician card um nine of wands in reverse some of you guys you gave this person an ultimatum page of pentacles in reverse it's kind of like well i'm gonna let it all go if you're not willing to manifest this with me with the magician i'm not gonna keep investing in this page of pentacles in reverse because i think pisces you've invested enough page of pentacles is your in your energy you've given a lot and now it's a point in time where you feel you need to be given back in return right so um give me the clarity on the ten of wands for pisces the moon in reverse and the three of pentacles. I think a lot of you guys, it's like <laughs> you will settle for friendship, but you don't want that. 
some of you guys your person is friend zoning you it's like oh let's come together let's have fun let's be a team and it's like you want more than that um and some of you guys the reason why they're doing that is the moon that there, there's some secrets there could be insecurities or fears or illusions that they you know something in their head they feel like oh i can't be that person pisces there's a lot going on here um and i see them kind of pushing things away ace of wands and verse what's this about a lot of you guys, you want communication because a lot of you guys is telling me that Pisces, five of wands in verse, you're in your head about this. There's a lot of conflict, internal conflict. Does this person care about me? Do they not want me? Do they not like me? And that's not true. But I do see a situation here where you may be having some communication with this person about why things haven't really gotten off the ground, why things kind of stuck where they are right now, right? And it may be important to have this conversation. So let's get clarity on the hangman. This person's in hangman right now. Why? Piscean energy, that's you. Well, because first off, you guys are not talking. King of swords in reverse and a star. This person wants to heal. They are optimistic still about this connection, but they're kind of assessing things. And I think that right now, again, Pisces, this person may have silenced you, um, but they're kind of unsure. I I'm getting the energy of they're still thinking about moving forward with you but there's a lack of clarity with the king of swords in verse a lot of you guys again there's a need for communication and that could be something coming in communication can really be helpful for both of you guys that's what it's telling me for sure now the chariot i do feel like there's some kind of movement or change four of pentacles with the knight of pentacles in verse i feel like your person is there could be a resistance in wanting to open up wanting to drop their guards with you that may be something that this person struggles with pisces um being flexible you know there's the energy of being closed off at times and i feel like your person knows that if they want change if they want movement with you they're gonna have to get out of that energy they're gonna have to do a little bit more right so let's see what this emperor in the verse is about this person may have gone through some uh, really a lot of hardship cycles, uh, the world in verse, things are not working out for them. There may have been a lot of misfortunes, delays, blockages in their life, but the Ace of Swords is here. Your person will get to a point in time where they're going to be ready to communicate. They're going to be ready to speak their truth to you. So Pisces, I do see communication coming in with you and this person, and it's at their period of this person not taking action. And I also feel this Ace of Swords can really pave way to this new beginning, this rebirth, this change that wants to come in. So it doesn't look like things are going to be stuck or, uh, or staying where they are. It's going to come back up and it's going to allow you guys to really hash out what you want. Communicate your needs. Um, and as far as the outcome, look, the death in verse again. Ace of Cups and the Justice. So there is an opportunity. There's the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. There is an opportunity here. It may not happen right away because it's saying in order for this to happen, there has to be justice, balance, reciprocity. You both have to be on the same page. You both have to be well aware of what you bring to the table, what you're getting in the connection, what you expect. There's something about you guys being... Being, being able to air everything out and be able to be uh, in alignment with each other. And that is going to support this new beginning, death and birth. You both want it. It's going to come. It's just not coming right away, which is why the aces are coming out in reverse, okay? There's some work that still has to be done in order for this all to come together, for it to be balanced, recipro uh, reciprocated, right? Um, and again, the queen of cups and verse. a lot of you guys... Timing could be everything because maybe this person really isn't in a place to really honestly love you the way you need to be loved, Pisces. And that's something that you have to think about. You don't want to rush into a relationship. And so we're going back to the challenge of the lovers making a decision. But it's this decision is going to come after a period of rest, hermit, going within, connecting with yourself, maybe even doing some inner work, okay? And not being so quick, Knight of Wands in the verse, to jump in. Take a step back right? So Pisces, that is what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload these readings. I'm available personal love readings as well if you need one, and I'll check you guys out soon. Bye!